First of five, a dramatic confrontation today at the Mike Miskey trial. A defense attorney for the accused crime boss challenged his so-called right-hand man. He wanted to know what happened to the money that man claimed Miskey had given him for drugs. Our Daryl Huff reports from federal court. Under prompting by prosecutors, Miller admitted that he had lied in the past, and after being busted here for guns, drugs, and kidnapping, he decided that his free life was over and it was time to tell all he knew about Mike Miskey. But defense attorney Michael Kennedy's questioning exposed the depth of what Miller was facing and the huge reward he was expecting for testifying and how he fooled the FBI into thinking he was cooperating. You were really good at fooling people because you've been doing it for years, Kennedy said. Yes, sir, Miller replied. Fooling your probation officer, fooling the judge, putting your middle finger toward him. Yes, sir. You knew you were looking at life. You would never see your son outside the prison walls. Life without parole is no life at all, is it? No, sir. He's uh, managed to fool the court. He's fooled the probation system. He's fooled the FBI. He's fooled everybody. And so the fooling's got to stop at some point, and that's what I'm trying to do. The attorney exposed a gap in the evidence over whether Miskey had bankrolled a California cocaine deal with up to 400000 in cash, cash that was not part of the evidence after authorities busted the deal. Do you want to change your testimony, said Kennedy. No money was found to purchase 10 kilos of cocaine, sir. That's a lie. Under oath, there was no money from Mike Miskey. There was money for Mike Miskey, Miller replied. There aren't any photographs of the money because there is no money. When you uh, say there's a three or $400,000 deal and there's no money and uh, somebody's given uh, sworn testimony under oath and as a law enforcement officer, that's a pretty good hold. Miller said because he wasn't charged, he wasn't aware of what was seized or not. Along with explaining what happened to that missing money, the government has a lot of case still to come, including technical evidence that they hope will help bolster the stories of their witnesses, many of whom made deals similar to Miller's. Reporting from federal court, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.